Greetings and welcome to another edition of The Great Goddess. Praise be to Goddess. Praise be to Goddess. Well, here it is. The end of the Festival of the Mother is today. I know I didn't give you much warning. It only lasts a week. This is the last day of the Festival of the Mother, so make it count. And the last day of the Festival of the Mother is Day of Her Grace. So what is Day of Her Grace? What does it mean and what is it to us? Well, Day of Her Grace is the day when we as goddess worshipers forgive each other and forgive faults in general. You don't have to forgive everyone on Day of Her Grace. You're not required ever to forgive anyone if you don't want to. But on Day of Her Grace, we're encouraged to forgive other goddess worshipers and to, and to extend uh, our forgiveness even to non-goddess worshipers, just our non-goddess worshiping friends. Extend our grace to them, our forgiveness to them. And Day of Her Grace is a day when we're reminded that all the time Goddess forgives us. All the time she forgives us, not just on Day of Her Grace, but all the time. So why, why is it that Goddess always forgives us and what does that mean? Well, she she always forgives us our faults always but humans may not always forgive you so goddess will always forgive you your faults but humans might not and you need both okay you need both so you need to be forgiven by both humans and by goddess you need both forgiveness from both and if you don't get the forgiveness of humans, then it's a no-go. You're not forgiven. But Goddess forgives us for any faults we may have. She forgives us all the time. In fact, she's forgiven us for rejecting her and for not worshiping her for, for thousands of years. She's forgiven us for that. So if she can forgive us for that, she can forgive us for just about anything. And you can always count on your Heavenly Mother. So pray to her for forgiveness, and she will extend her forgiveness to you. And, and it's always good to know. It, it makes you feel better knowing that you've been forgiven by Goddess. It personally makes me feel better that I've been forgiven by Goddess. But it might make you feel better, too. You might feel like... A sense of release that your Heavenly Mother has forgiven you for the faults that you've had in your life and forgiveness is very important and Goddess wants us to learn to forgive each other and to extend our forgiveness to others so forgive don't forget but forgive and and always, always remember that Goddess forgives you all the time. She forgives you all the time for everything. So do what you can. Try to forgive others if you can. And if you can't, lay it in Goddess's hands. Let her be the judge and the jury and let her uh, command justice for you. She will get justice for those who, who can't, can't forgive or won't forgive. She gets justice for them. But she would like you to forgive if you can. But if you can't, then she, lay it in her hands. Don't take vengeance. Don't um, go, go after vigilante justice. Because vigilante justice creates more car bad karma for yourself. So don't go for vigilante justice. Don't get vengeance. Lay it in Goddess's hands. If you have any 
problems with anyone whatsoever, or any disputes with other people, lay it in Goddess's hands and let her take care of it. Because she will, she will seek justice for you and she will get justice for you if you lay it in her hands. Now, this is the day when we forgive, our, when we extend our forgiveness to others. And who should we forgive? Who in our lives is worthy of being forgiven and who needs to be forgiven? Well, we can start with our friends and family, the people who are closest to us, and people we love. We should for always forgive people we love. And uh, you can extend your forgiveness to casual acquaintances. If somebody did something that pissed you off, uh, you, can, you can extend your forgiveness to them as well but you're not required to you're not required to extend your forgiveness but you're encouraged to so think about who you care about most and extend your forgiveness to them and if you want to forgive enemies you can you're not required to forgive anyone so you're not required to forgive your enemies but if you want to forgive your enemies you can and uh, it's, it's quite a, a task to forgive one's enemies because sometimes they need to not be forgiven because they need to have karma come back to them. They need to learn their lesson. They need to, some, some people need to learn their lesson. Now, if they don't need to learn any lessons, then you can forgive them. But if you feel that they are very sorely lacking in, in enlightenment, basic enlightenment, and you feel that they need to learn from their mistakes, then by all means, don't forgive them. Let them get their karmic just desserts and learn their lesson from it. Because once you've forgiven somebody, they're never punished ever for what they've done. They're free forever. So think hard about whether you want to forgive somebody. And you won't go to hell if you don't forgive somebody. You're never going to be punished for what somebody else did. And you're not going to be punished for your feelings. Okay, because forgiveness is a feeling. It's not an act. It's not a choice. It's a feeling. If I haven't forgiven somebody in my heart, then I haven't forgiven them at all. And so remember that, that forgiveness comes from the heart and that you're entitled to your feelings. You have a right to your feelings and you have a right to justice. You'll never be punished for something that somebody else did, never. And you'll never be punished for having personal feelings. Just remember that. Just remember that you have a right to your feelings. So that's it. Day of her grace. Today, call up a friend. Extend forgiveness to her. Extend forgiveness to your fa family and your friends and people you love and people you care about. I'm Sarah Jean Alpha Wolf signing off. Have a great week. And we'll continue with sayings the next time we meet.